everyone welcome back to my channel another seattle vlog how exciting <laughs> with all the seriousness um, my family and i went to seattle this uh, march and it was another fun memories made and i can't wait to share them with you all but uh yeah hang out with me till uh end of the third video yes there's three videos <laughs> Anyways, please enjoy and let's get started. <laughs> So the first full day we were in Seattle, we went to see a robotics competition in south of Bellevue. Originally, we were going to Mercer Slough Nature Park, but it was pouring rain, so we changed our plan a little bit. Their competition schedule was a little different than what my husband and I experienced as a student in the past. The competition started off with practice rounds until about 11 o'clock. We left around 1 o'clock to grab some lunch. We went to the sandwich house called Tress. It is a Japanese style sandwich shop located in Bellevue. Since the rain has stopped for a couple of hours, we decided to go to Mercer Slough Nature Park and eat the sandwich at the parking lot. So Mercer Slough is a 320-acre wetland surrounded with ferns, shrubs, flowers, and several berries depending on the season. One thing I loved about the Mercer Slough was that there were several tree branches that created arches here and there on the trail. It was amazing to see what nature created. We also stopped by the Environmental Education Center. We went to REI to get my rain gear because I never owned one and I, I needed one.
So we were at the Redmond Town Center and when I saw the directory of this area, I saw Daiso store, so I had to go. If you don't know what Daiso is, it's basically like a Dollar Tree, but it is a Japanese item imported from Japan. Of course, we cannot miss our trip to Salt and Straw Ice Cream. We got back to our Airbnb, put our little one to the bed and we watched Metal Shop Master on Netflix and went to bed. Good morning! We're going to Seattle! We're going to the Fremont area, like north side of uh, Seattle. And look at this view! Without my face! Today should be a warmer day with some sunny. Yesterday we did get to see some sunny, so hopefully there's more today and we'll go to Cherry Blossom also. We headed to the University of Washington, also known as UW, to see the cherry blossom. When we got to this section of the campus, I thought this was the quad, so I was actually shocked and a little panicked thinking that this was it and we missed the true cherry blossom season. However, as we walked to the Central Plaza area, there were booths with crafts and food and show of Japanese taiko. When I glanced over to the other side of the Central Plaza area, I saw the actual cherry blossom location I wanted to go, which was the quad. As someone who is Japanese, I have never seen cherry blossom tree before. It smelled so good. It was so beautiful, the fact that the petals were beginning to fall and it looked like a snow. So once we were done enjoying our time watching Cherry Blossom, we went to the Fremont Sunday Flea Market. We went to the Fremont Vintage Mall. We didn't get anything but at the Sunday market, I got a sweater that has lettering that says Upper Left USA. We went to the Gasworks Park. It was not as cold as I thought it would be just because I was standing on top of the hill. So after I went down to the ground, I walked by the plant, met up with my husband at the park. 
After playing with my little one, I went back up to the top of the hill to view the city skyline one last time before heading to the next destination. Good decision that I went back up to the top of the hill because the clouds were clearing up and I got to see the city skyline with some sunshine. So my husband's quote unquote every time we must visit was hotcakes. I got coffee from Umbria Cafe just down the street that went along with the hotcake. After strolling through the downtown Ballard, we went to the Swanson's Nursery. I thought I was in heaven. This place offered so many plants ranging from indoor to outdoor and there were some plants that you rarely see in local places. I was hoping to bring home the string of turtles but unfortunately Swanson did not offer shipping so I had to give up purchasing a plant. We still had plenty of time till dinner so the very last minute I saw Golden Gardens Park on the map and decided to go out there. I'm at Golden Gardens Park and it's so gorgeous! So as I entered the beach area, I saw the building that is not on this footage but that looked so familiar. Turns out that I came here back in 2009 for an event. I enjoyed my time reminiscing that event that happened in 2009 and enjoyed the beauty of this Puget Sound.
Thank you all for hanging out with me for the first two days of Seattle trip. Please tune in to the day three and four for hiking at Little Sai and a day trip to Leavenworth. Love you all. Bye.